welcome back to another video. I'm excited today because we're watching a video about food. Woohoo! This video is the iconic $1 pizza slice of New York City. Shout out New York City. I've been to New York City one time. It was a very interesting <laughs> experience. Um, I did have some pizza there, but I didn't really know where I was going or what I was doing. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't $1 a slice so we're gonna check this out let me know if you're from new york and you know of this place i think this is like yeah literally it's iconic so let me know down below if it's worth the hype um if you're from new york city so without any further ado we are going to get straight into today's video if you want good pizza come to st mark's it's the best pizza i'll be in any borough come to st mark's i know okay. about two boroughs so they love me in there i oh. shop every day in there i got two slices a day keep the doctor away my this guy. is Good deal. One thing a lot of people tell us is that when you walk into Two Bros, it's like a microcosm of New York in general. You can see homeless people, the Wall Street bankers on the same line waiting for that same pizza. Uh, I wish it's I could something go. Something that everyone can rely on at any time. By far the best quality pizza you could get, especially for a dollar. A lot of plain cheese slices. And then we do some topping slices. The pizza at Two Bros is made from scratch every single day, hand tossed. You get it served hot and you get it served in a it matter of seconds. It looks legit. People are very busy. They come outside for lunch, they have the five old, minutes to figure out what they want to do. Pizza. Here's a place where I'm getting a fresh hot slice within nine seconds and it's one dollar. That's our skill, I would so is getting go there for my the lunch people break. in and out. And that's what we're good at. <laughs> a dollar and it's slice? really, it's a science. It's something that we worked Pick, on yeah. for the last 10 years, perfecting. We wanted to create a buzz when we opened, and we put this $1 special to, to start the business. It was our marketing and PR, everything. We just said we're not going to spend the money on PR and stuff. We'll just give it away like this. When we started, we put a sandwich That's board smart. up, and we took a chalk marker, and we put pizza, so $1. It didn't really create anything. No one was really walking in. No one really cared. Five weeks really? into it, I would say, we came up with the idea of let's create like a dollar sign that we print in big bright red and the next day from when we put that sign up oh, everything changed it. like wow. it was always busy you know we used to see the same people five six times a week and then we realized that the numbers were going to be able to work as long as we sold a certain amount of pizza and we were like you know people now understand that this name is really connected oh to this gosh. dollar thing because it's real, it's us, you know, it's who we are. We're two so they have to stick brothers, with the dollar. best friends that love pizza. That's tough though with inflation and whatnot, right? They're going to have to double the price, surely. Because eventually, right? Can you get one cheese slice? They're going to start well losing money, one? right? Yeah, that's perfect. Thanks Yum. so much. I'm Scott Wiener, and I'm a professional pizza enthusiast. <laughs> a professional pizza enthusiast. Still too hot, 181. It's an infrared thermometer. So if it's over 170, that's where it, it'll burn your mouth. So I just got the, uh, <gasps> the cheese slice, the dollar slice. The dollar slice. I mean, it tastes, tastes like dollar pizza. It tastes like, you know, roller rink, little league softball game, pizza on the side. You know, it's not pizza as a focus. It's like, you go here when you're hungry and you need something fast. Dollar slices. <laughs> As a price point, it's not a new thing. Obviously, pizza has been $1. And the last time it was a dollar was probably in the late 80s. Pizza as a resurging force, as a dollar food, that really came on the rise right around the recession in 2008. 99 cent fresh pizza was the one that I always go to at the Port Authority. And then suddenly I saw Two Bros was opening up, and then 99 cent fresh opened up more. And then now there's gotta be 80 or 90 dollar slice places around the city. Seriously? The recession was really important for the dollar slice because I'm sure. you had a lot of people's careers changed around that time, and some of these dollar slice places come from that fallout. Oh, that's so interesting. When we started Two Bros, I was 24 and my brother was 23. Babies. We're not pizza men by trade, and we never were. We grew up in Brooklyn in a neighborhood called No Basin. We both went to school in New York, and we'd oh, always be cuties. eating late night food, and somehow we'd always be drawn to pizza. When a space became available, we started negotiating with the landlord. You know, we would Google like the type of things we would need to ask. All our savings, whatever money we had saved up, we put into it. Once we got out of school, we opened the first place at St. Mark's towards the end of 2007. That's Two bros so and the other incredible. dollar slice places they make money because that low price point 
brings in the volume. I see. And so as long as they're doing volume, then they can stay in business. The restaurant business is, in New York is as tough as it gets. The issue with our business is that if you don't sell a certain amount, then, you, then you're dying. And the yeah. number really, really depends on you know, what your occupancy cost and what... And, and, and that being said, the range is around 45 to 50 cents of well, the actual is. cost of the slice. Yeah, but that's before labor. And before I get it. He's and asking what it costs to, to make a slice. Another misconception with dollar slice in general is like, yeah, the pizza's fake. The dough's frozen that they're buying from someone. The cheese is like a fake cheese. We're <laughs> really using the highest end ingredients on our pizzas. Seems like uh, a, a big part of deal. it is our buying power. We buy almost everything direct from the manufacturer. We don't have any middlemen. Huge quantities, yeah. Trailers oh, of cheese. You know, trailers of flour, trailers of uh, cans of soda, everything in huge volume. When your margins are razor thin, uh, you know, every dollar counts. The speed of which a person gets in and out determines how much pizza we can sell. That's something that, that we train our quick. pizza guys more than anything else. The employees, they come into work at 7 a.m. The first thing they do is they start making a, a fresh tough dough job. for either the day or wow, the next day. And then the they make fresh time. sauce. And they'll be doing that for three, four hours wow. before we even open for lunch. Lots of prep. They know, they gotta just keep making them as the people are coming. So they know when they're gonna get hit at lunch, they know when they're gonna get the after work crowd. Oh, I can't even imagine the, the rush. Our people do a great job, you know, they really do, of always giving people a fresh hot slice. Would we consider it two bros street food? Well, most of our stores have completely open doors and they're like pretty much part of the street. Most people are taking that slice without a bag and just continuing to walk. This is quick, like, it's like Chinese food. I can definitely say this is better than like a five dollar slice all over the world. In New York City, yeah. I come here every day. It's kind of bad. Well, this is, I'm coming back from my third. It's good, it's cheesy, I mean, it's it has red on the sauce, and it's never like hard. It's always doughy in the crust. And it's cheap, it's a dollar. Yes, it's only a dollar. Wow. I think dollar pizza is on the way out. As the 10 year leases that started in 2008, as they run out, I think we're going to see the dollar slice turn into a dollar 25 slice, a dollar 50 slice. I really think we'll look back at this time fondly because this is a time period yeah. where pizza should not Sorry, cost Sorry, this is a scooter dollar. going past you guys. Special moment. I lived in New York City. I could buy a slice of pizza for just a buck. How cool is that? Yeah. It's getting more it's and more cool. expensive to, to operate businesses, especially in New York. For the foreseeable future, it's a dollar, you know, it's important to us. We're very torn in a lot of conversations about raising the price. And mm -hmm. as long as we're able to sell it for a dollar, we'll continue to do that. We don't I know what tomorrow's going to bring. Every but... day the world changes. But even these days, I don't know, I want to ask you guys, if this slice of pizza was two dollars, would that affect if you would buy it or not? For me, I don't know. I guess I don't know the prices of pizza in New York City. So is $2 a lot? Because I would consider $2 still pretty cheap. But I live in New Zealand, right? Everything is expensive here. So <laughs> I, I have no, I can't, it's hard to tell. But let me know down below. If they raise the price to $2, would that stop you from buying the pizza? I'm curious. Potentially it would, right? But I don't understand how they can keep it at one dollar. I think um, inflation and everything is costing more. So it's honestly nearly impossible to keep stuff at the same prices. So I do wonder how long they can last with only one dollar slices. I mean it's impressive. That's a cool story. Really inspiring story. Um, I'm just worried for them only one dollar keep like trying to keep it at one dollar. I just think there has to be a point where they have to raise the prices. It is sad though, right? Because that's what you kind of grew your business from. Like that's your business identity, the one dollar slice. Um, and then changing and changing that would be a really difficult decision. Um, I'm very curious about what they're going to do with that actually. <laughs> it's so funny guys in the comment section, I'll link the original video down below if you guys want to look at the comments. But um, everyone's roasting Scott, the pizza reveal. 
<laughs> Someone said Scott's the sort of guy that describes carbonated drinks as spicy. I did have that impression. I was like, geez Louise, he got the temperature gauge out and everything. It's like, nope, it's too hot. <laughs> I was like, dang. He was like, yeah, it tastes like $1 pizza like you get at a kid's softball game. I'm like, geez, that's savage. Damn, guys, all of these comments are about Scott. Yeah, guys, go look at these comments. I'll link, it, I'll link the video down below. This is hilarious. I'm going to go to their website. Let's see. Let's see if they've raised their prices. <gasps> oh, guys, I was right. They raised it to $2. They had to raise it to two dollars. Understandable. Understandable. So they really did raise it to two dollars. I feel like two dollars is good price. Still, for like this day and age, ten years ago, six. I don't know five, six. I barely know my years anymore. I thought we were a freaking in twenty twenty still. Um, no, but if this was six, six, seven years ago, one dollar, okay. But now you can barely buy anything for a dollar these days. And you know, they've got a business to run, they've got to pay employees, they've got to pay the rent, they've got to pay for you know, every the electricity, everything. So there's only, yeah, so good on them for making that decision. I'm sure it was a hard decision. I'm kind of like going off topic here a lot. Um, now when I go, I definitely have to go try it. Wouldn't that be awesome if I could go around New York, New York City trying out all the foods? That will be amazing. Let me know if you're from New York City and you've tried the iconic, I guess, $2 slice of pizza now. Uh, from Two Bros Pizza. Thank you guys so much for watching this video with me today. This was certainly very interesting, very inspiring. Good on them, good on them. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.